Welcome to Field to Feast, where we profile Louisiana's local ingredients. Today, we're at the New Orleans Fish House. We're gonna meet up with my good friend, Executive Chef Tori McPhail of Commander's Palace. We're gonna shop the market, then head back to his house and make a delicious seafood gumbo. So come join us. Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Think rice. Oh, all right. Don't mind if I do. We are at the New Orleans Fish House with Cliff Hall and my good friend, Chef Tory. And Cliff, can you tell us a little bit about what we have going on in here? Okay, this is a room that we do our processing in. As you look around, you will see tables and uh, during certain portions of the day, we have cutters that will come. They will look at this board and get orders from all of our fine restaurants in New Orleans, Baton Rouge, along the Gulf Coast, and then each cutter will take ownership of an order. Well, my biggest question first off is, where is all this product coming from? Well, we buy product from all around the United States, uh, but we try to buy as much Gulf product as possible. So we have drum uh, that's on the table back over here. We have tuna that comes directly from the Gulf of Mexico that's in here. Got some sheep heads, some snappers, some triple tail. Uh, we try to support as much of our local fishermen as we can. And so this is a big facility. How much product really runs through here annually? When sheep heads run in, we go through about 25 to 30,000 pounds of sheep head a week drum because it's more available consistently throughout the year yeah. we'll go through about 30 to 50,000 pounds of drum wow. in a week and then in redfish uh, depending on what we're able to harvest from the farm that'll be from 10,000 to 20,000 pounds a week okay we have some small black drum uh, we call them puppy drum because they're smaller uh, this is the preferred size fish uh, for commanders for the restaurants Drum is what we call utility fish. It is so good that we can do anything else we want, we want with it. It can be crab meat, fresh shrimp, saute of fresh crawfish. If you made that with cognac, that could go on top of it. It's really it's a the fish of all all recipes. Very versatile. Anything. Is it uh, what people say is white and flaky fish? Yeah. So the, the New Orleans palate, especially the Brennan family that have been here for generations, they like something that's white, light, flaky, and very delicate in flavor. And this is absolutely perfect for a New Orleans palate. And this is, this is my favorite too, I think. Um, nothing better than a redfish cubion, in my opinion. I love it. That is really good. So we get these fish farmed and we get some wild. Okay. There is no wild season in the state of Louisiana. We're hoping that eventually we can persuade the government to allow it to be able to be commercially harvested again. I'm, I'm always impressed on, on, when, on when they hit your line, how much muscle they have and how like, it's a very aggressive fish, and so people sport fish for them quite often, and they're actually not just now bass tournaments. There are redfish tournaments along the coast of Louisiana where people come from all over the United States and the world to turn with fish for these fish. Well, I think that sounds like the perfect next field to feast. What do you think? I, I think we need to plan it. We'll grab our buddy, and we'll go out and do some fishing together. How's that sound? Well, come here. <laughs> My favorite, though, was when I went bow fishing for redfish. Yes. Is intense fun. Yeah. Just yeah. F-U-N fun. Yes. Now over here we have some tuna. This is Gulf product as well. You could sear off a piece of that right now and give that to me and I could eat it. Yes. And well, you know what? With a spoon. I, I will do that about once a week. I'll tell you what, the guys down at home, I think those guys doing an amazing job taking care of the product and it is extremely impressive. I literally here in the States I've never seen anything like it. That the care and passion that they take in taking care of their products is exactly the same as chefs do in our kitchens. We're taking stuff home with us today, by the way, because want. we're going to be making a fresh, delicious seafood gumbo. I heard that you have some soft shell crabs in the other room. Yes, we do. <laughs> Those are Amazing. my absolute favorite. Mine as well. I love this. Wait, can we do that again? <laughs> and take two. Action. <laughs> Your stage debut. The debut. Dun, oh, dun, 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 dun. Our favorite here, some beautiful, fresh, soft shell crabs that we uh, just got in. Cliff. This little guy right here is making a few bubbles for you. He's trying to impress you this morning. 
Beautiful, yes. gorgeous, gorgeous. Every hour to hour and a half, there's somebody checking those tanks. When that crab comes out, they'll wait a few minutes so that it gets a little bit harder so it doesn't just fall apart. And then they'll remove those crabs one at a time throughout a 24 hour process in order to provide the product for us like this that I can give the chef. We have the hard shell crab as well, which can be used for boiling for around the home, or we have it picked for meat to supply to chefs so they can use the jumbo lump Yum. to topping things, claws for stuffing. Well, this is so exciting to be able to have a day like this. And next up, Tori's gonna take us to his house. I'm so excited and make us a big seafood gumbo with all of these local wonderful ingredients. So y'all come join us. We are here in Chef Tori's house, lucky us, and we are about to make an incredible seafood gumbo. So show me what all we brought back. So we have a beautiful spread here, and our dear friend Cliff at New Orleans Fish House put this up with all kinds of great seafood which we saw this morning. Uh, so one of the things I love is, is fresh blue crabs. So these have been cleaned. We use that kind of, it'll go in early to kind of make a stock as, as our gumbo is going. And we'll add this stuff a little bit later. This has already been detailed, uh, but this is um, Louisiana wild white shrimp. Beautiful. Okay, this is fresh drum and fresh redfish, which we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Fresh jumbo lump crab that comes right out of the, the heart, kind of right in the middle of these crabs here. And also some fresh, beautiful briny oysters. And a treat, uh, we have um, Gulf of Mexico royal red shrimp. So these are deep water shrimp that a lot of the finer restaurants are serving. Here, I'll tell you about our growing season is so long. Today we have in um, fresh red and yellow tomatoes right out of the garden. But instead of just green, we have red and yellow bell peppers. These are all orange. Louisiana. All locally grown right here in Louisiana. But it just provides a little bit more color for your gumbo. Typically it's about one to one ratio, okay? Fat to oil. Okay. So what we're gonna do is use half the amount of fat so it's a lot more healthy for you. So the first step is we're gonna make a roux. That's exactly right. This is a cup of flour. The whole thing. Whole thing. So you just want to kind of keep working this around, working this around. Yeah, isn't it part of it that you're never, when you're making a roux like this, I mean, it's just a constant activity, it's a constant stir. Yeah, that's that's it. So you just want to make sure at this point your, your pot is already hot, right? Your oil and the flour is already at room temperature. So there's no time for a wine break? Well, I was just going to say make sure your glass of wine is full <laughs> before you start your roux. Tori's thinking great. about hiring me as his new sous chef. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you're great. Well, as many years as you and I have spent together in the kitchen, right? <laughs> you know better than to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and once it starts to smoke like that, you're doing really, really good. So we're gonna go maybe 10 more seconds and you're good. One, two, seven Louisiana, eight Louisiana, nine Louisiana. Doing great. 10. Perfect. So at this point, we're gonna add these ingredients. And these are just uh, white onions and fresh celery. Tori, thanks for bringing us to your home it's today. Nice, huh? It's only 12 blocks away from Commander, so it's great. I can just walk to work every day, enjoy the neighborhood. But at this point, we're gonna add our, our peppers. Here. We're gonna add just a bit of garlic. So we've got some stock next, okay? This is seafood stock. We're gonna add our fresh blue crabs. It's starting to steam, which is fantastic. Once it comes to a simmer, we're gonna turn the heat down, and about every five minutes or so, we're just gonna gently uh, skim the top. This is what you call a Louisiana gumbo facial. I'm just gonna finish this with uh, more fresh seafood. Look at all this delicious Louisiana seafood. That's gorgeous, it's nice and thick, nice oh. and chunky. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add all these ingredients too. This is chopped parsley, green onions, okay? Organic fresh red and yellow tomatoes. Into this, we're just gonna try to re reheat our fresh jumbo lump crab. First, we have some delicious Louisiana rice. Well, I am so excited to dig into lunch. This is the most delicious looking seafood gumbo. So we are about to dig in and we will see you next time on Field to Feast. Thanks for joining us. Cheers, friends. Cheers. Mmm. It's not too bad for somebody that's kind of whipped together on a Wednesday. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> it is Tuesday. <laughs> Field to Feast with Jennifer Finley was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, think rice.